Hello there. So in this episode, we are going to be talking about uh, ambient occlusion in mobile uh, in Unreal Engine 5. So I had previously talked about ambient occlusion in mobile, but that was way before this time. It was in Unreal Engine 4.27 or 6. I can't really remember very well. But now um, here we are in Unreal Engine 5 era, and I'd say this has gotten much much better. The quality is like perfect right now and um, before it had a problem that in most devices it just wouldn't run if you had activated the ambient occlusion on your game in I specifically um, remember Galaxy Samsung Galaxy S9 which had a problem with this uh, if you had enabled ambient occlusion in your game you couldn't really run the game on the device it just would crash and get out of the game but right now in Engine 5 we have ambient occlusion if you see here so if I go into the post processing volume and um, if I go to ambient occlusion this is the difference it makes you have the intensity I mean I, I didn't change the radius but the intensity is um, higher a little bit and I multiplied some of these into it because you know in the default value it doesn't really show us any difference but if you crank it a little bit higher you will get something that you could say okay now we have a method to fake global illumination you know exactly what we had in xbox 360 and ps3 era so without it i mean it has some in it Without it, with it, it changes the scene drastically, and it's not bad. I mean, the I remember if in Far Cry 3, the ambient illusion was all over the place. It's not like that. It just works very well, and I've tested it on my devices, and all works just fine. But if you have a, uh, it depends on your target platform. If you have a medium end device on your hand I mean how can you tell if it's a medium end go to tools a platforms device profiles so if you wanna know um, which of the categories your device is go to the so these are three Android low Android mid and Android high if you think your Android is high go at something in the CVARS I don't know something like um maybe r dot screen percentage this one and set it to 10 probably uh and test it on your game if it worked then your android's high if not go into the next section android mid set the r dot screen percentage to 10 if it worked oh it makes the scene really blurry so you can uh, understand that it wo it's working um, so if you are having an Android mid device on your hand it will work I, I didn't test it on Android low though because Android I mean I'd say m maybe 10% of the whole population is using um, Android low nowadays most of the devices out there Android mid is is for like six seven years ago so Android low I don't really think they can ever play your game on Unreal Engine 5. So if you're having Android Meet or High, then there you go. It works just fine on Android Meet. Um, the performance cost is 5 milliseconds. Um, and that's it. Let's go into how we can activate it. So go into the edit. Oh, no, not the edit. <laughs> yeah, edit project settings. Go into the rendering tab. And you can see mobile ambient occlusion here it's changed a little bit the naming convention is changed because I believe the method is changed it looks better and everything uh, enable it it will uh, ask you to restart the engine do that and then come here it's not activated yet right so what you, you have to do go to the console command r dot um, I guess it was mobile dot ambient occlusion so this one should be set to one already because you just changed it in the project setting so this is read only this only is getting changed uh, inside the project settings inside this 
but what you have to do is you have to r change this r.mobile.ambient occlusion quality to one if i set it let me control c if i set it to zero i lose everything there's no ambient occlusion anymore but if i set it to one there i have it but there's a problem here you can't uh, run this command every time you run the game on player's um, device, right? So what you can do is go to Tools, Platforms, Device Profiles, and um, go into the... If you're working on Android, then this one. If you're working on iOS, it's... It should be around here. Yeah, here. This one. So I've already um, set it in the Android section. So Android Cvars in the rendering tab. Just type in r dot type in r dot mobile dot m the intercollision quality, and you have to set the default value to uh, one. Um, I yeah I haven't. Yeah, I have to do it. Ambient occlusion quality. Um, this default value is one, and save everything. And when everything's saved, you can just go ahead and run the game on your device, and you have the ambient occlusion. But remember, uh, ambient occlusion is being run in the post-processing volume. Uh, it must be the intensity should be really high and then use this power thing here give it a really high value so it so it has something inside to show you right uh, and make sure that you are previewing uh, the scene on Android ES3 on the line one and it was Android 3 uh, ES3.1 before but uh, so how to do that go to settings um, preview rendering level and in here we have Android Vulcan and Android ES 3.1 there's not much difference between these two and most of the devices out there nowadays can run both so it really doesn't matter but if you are working on iOS too you have iOS shader model 3 as well and that's it I hope it helped and if it did help please hit that like button have a great day bye